Andrew McGahan here in Las Vegas, Nevada, coming to you poolside next to the showstopper Peter Queeley. We are four days out now, Peter, at this stage from the fight this weekend. The main thing that I've been wanting to ask you is because your fights have always resembled absolute wars throughout, the career, throughout your career. The theme has been this is a war zone, there are no easy fights. Was that something that you even relished when you heard maybe Connor talking about at the start, that this has to be hard sparring, this has to be hard training? It seems like it's perfect fit for you. It, it's no different. He just said it this time. It's always this way. Um, we have great spars, me and Connor. Um, and that's been my role in this in this camp. I feel is when Connor wanted to have a bit of a fight, I feel like I was the person that 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 sparred him, and I, I love that role. I love sparring with Connor. It's it's what's made me the fighter I am today, and um, long may it last. What was your main? Have you noticed the changes in the camps? Because I know you're saying that he's only saying it this time, but you can even see, even from speaking with John and Owen, the technical aspect, the more strategic aspect that goes into the training. Are you finding yourself now maybe going in and it's I have to work on this specifically against Connor as opposed to before when we were just throwing leather, do you know, in the gym? Yeah, I'm definitely trying to you know imitate certain things and and doing what John tells me, but also I'm just trying to give Connor work, you know, trying to make him work as hard as I can, and and sometimes it's better for me to just use my own strengths to do that. So I'm kind of you know it's a balancing act between imitating some things and then just doing my best that I can that I can really you know give Connor the best workout I can. It seems though like you've been in fights with multiple guys that have similar styles and similar um, grinding sort of yeah. style. You are no stranger to it. Yeah. What did you learn from those fights? Yeah, it's funny you said that. I'm, I'm I know how to take out a Russian or two, so I was useful for this one. Um, yeah, you just have to stay calm. Just, just stay calm is, is what I is what I would say the best key to fighting these type of opponents is because. Connor is a better fighter than Khabib. There's no, there's no doubt about that. He just needs to stay calm and let let time is on his side in this fight. Even if he does find himself in a weird position, maybe in the first round, he just needs to stay calm and he'll have plenty of chances to to hit Khabib. And Khabib is easy to hit. And when Connor hits you, it's it's like hitting a, sh a shock onto the face. It's just, it's devastating. So he will hit him, and and that will be it when he hits him. What do you make of the recent like situation of this fight? in Ireland because I completely get why what's being done is being done in terms of like just focusing on this fight the training is the priority but it seems like this one maybe compared to the other ones there was fans who were going nuts from 10 weeks out you were getting tagged and everything on Facebook I still think there's going to be a large Irish support here this weekend but do you think it's more that the performance and the show and what's going to happen on Saturday will mean it's nearly a bounce on effect for the next fight that we're going to see the numbers that we had maybe for Mendez and Aldo before no, I, I think I think what you said first is right. I think it's been just been a bit lower key, but I think they will show up this time, yeah. like they always do. Irish people always show up when there's a, when one of their countrymen is in a big event, and especially when Connor fights. And, and history is the best predictor of the future. And every single fight Connor has had, all our countrymen come in their droves to support him. So I don't see any difference for this one. I definitely think, uh, even if I was talking to it myself, I think that I'm coming at that from the perspective that every other Connor event, we were based off a lot of fan interaction, you know, with covering the early scene of Irish MMA. Whereas now, this is the first MMA fight back in Vegas since then, and I may not be as in touch with that side yeah, of social yeah, yeah. media. I do think that there will be a lot of people here, but I just feel that the back and forths that made the Aldo and Mendez build up so iconic weren't here. But this is definitely an action is going to speak louder than words type of contest yeah you're right there has been less back and forth and, and less interaction between between Connor and and Khabib but everything that has happened in the in the build-up the last or like with the whole bus incident and the Artem incident this fight is people know oh, the reason fighters have back and forth is to let the fans kind of know why they are fighting but there's no explanation needed for this one they know why they're fighting it's very clear why they're fighting so I don't think much promotion was actually needed for this one um, as I said it's very clear why this contest is taking place and it's very clear what's at stake in this contest you've spoke to me before about having these training camps having a positive knock on in your own career and when you go for your next fight you were talking about maybe December or early 2019 is this going to have the same knock-on effect for Peter Quilly's next fight? Yeah, hundred percent. But just my whole career with Connor has a knock-on effect. It's just it's not just these camps. We train all the time, and and I, I I can't, you know, whatever say that highly enough that that his my interaction with Connor has really just carved me into the fighter I am today. So 
you know, I can't speak highly enough about that. And, and this camp is no different. It's definitely forming me and, and changing me in different little ways. And I'll be ready, no doubt, for, for my Bellator debut in December or January or whenever it is. Would you prefer the Dublin event in December? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't fought in Dublin in so long. It's been like, I can't remember when it's been. I think it's three years now, maybe, or something. So it's like such a novelty for me to actually fight at home. It's, it's normally the other way around for fighters to fight away is a novelty. But for me, it's actually a novelty to fight in Dublin. So I'm praying it's, it's that one that I'm, that I'm on for my first one. And it looks like it will be that one. So hopefully it will be. Would you imagine that that card will just consist of like you you are the kind of the instigator of this SBG versus a team element but at least this card may be SBG versus scattered oh, opponents yeah it has to be I think it's going to be you know me Brian James Kiefer at the forefront of it and then you know all the rest of our teammates making up the undercard that's what I see happening that, that's going to be crazy that's going to be so cool to be part of that part of that we, like SBG hasn't done that since yeah. the UFC one where we're calling the lads on a big scale but like you know that's going to be that's going to be one of the highlights of my career just to be fighting with my teammates because that's not something i ever get to do it's always in some you know it's always in moscow or south africa or wherever wherever i am and it's lonely and it's a weird setup my fights normally it's it's a different kind of an atmosphere but i'm relishing actually having a kind of a team atmosphere yes, yeah. yes yes because yes. Well, what i thought you were about to say there was something like the national basketball arena because oh, yeah. well, that that is because what this is now because everything is just getting weirder when we look at this is like oh sbg are gonna do a like say a team versus team in bellator but it's like but as you said the ufc dublin thing already happened before and then even further back it was like nine ten fighters on these pro cards so it's actually just the stage has gotten bigger but you have been doing this for a while yeah it's, it's gonna be nothing new, new to us um having 10 fighters on a card or nothing new to John. But like, as you said, it's just a much bigger stage now that it's gonna be, but that's, I just I, I just can't wait for this. I'm so excited about getting out of my bed and, and driving 10 minutes to the three arena mm. and fighting. Not 10 hours on a plane, yeah. six a days in a hotel room and oh, all this bollocks. And like, but this is gonna be brilliant. I just can't wait for it. We'll finish on this then. You have been emitting and talking about world championship vibes, world championship attitudes. Yeah. Um, I don't think you're going to be the last SBG Ireland fighter to be thinking about that over the next mm -hmm. year, year and a half. But why is Peter Queeley gonna get that run? Why is it that you deserve that? And who is at the top of your list to take out? I deserve that because I'm, when, when, when Conor McGregor is not on the island of Ireland, I'm the best lightweight in Ireland, and I don't think many people would argue with that, and that's certainly what I believe. Um, I think that will happen because I already have a big opponent for, for the Dublin, proposed Dublin card. Um, he's the kind of opponent that when I beat him, I'm going straight for the belt after that, in my opinion. So I think I'm fighting whoever it is, Michael Chandler or Brent Primus, whoever has the belt in early to mid-2019. Would you rather a few see, fights? I can't see him beating me, any of them. No, I wouldn't rather a few fights. I'm ready. I've done my career. People are going to look at this as, oh, it's Bellator. He's kind of almost starting in, in, a, in the big show. But I've been in the big show. And I've been in all around the world fighting. I've had a very long career, a long, productive career. And I'm ready. So I just want, who, who do I need to fight for the belt? Him, and then fight for the belt. And that's kind of what I'm getting. So... And I, I had I actually I had a kind of a this conversation with Bellator that this is the way I, I didn't want to be babied because yeah. Bellator sometimes do that they kind of build people and I was like no I don't want to be built I'm ready give me whoever I need to be to to get the belt but I would like to break that Patricky Pitbull's face on route as well if I if I can but we'll see I think I might just leapfrog him and, and go straight for the belt but I would like him maybe second and, and then the belt if I if I had a choice what started that if you don't mind me asking before just we go them talking. Brown, I don't know what they're talking about, just talking shit about SPG and whatever else. And you can't talk about us like that or my teammates like that without getting a reaction off us. And I would expect the same from from my own teammates. And, and we all, we're, we're like a family. And you talk about one of us, you're, you're fighting all of us. And that's how it happened. It just so happens I'm the top lightweight in the gym and, and he's a lightweight. And that's how it happened. But, you know, as I said, if, if he wants it, he can get it. And he, he will get it as well. So I'm... I'm, I'm yeah, I'm looking forward to getting him at some stage. Perfect. Peter Queeley. See, oh, my God. That's... Okay. Well, like, look, to be honest, I'm really disappointed with this because I'm, I'm ready for the introduction to our squads when we get back to the Ireland of Ireland. Yeah. So, like, let's... And, and we're, no, we're just going to keep Andrew going. has been begging me to not join. Not begging. Absolutely me, not. Me, Gunny Nelson, and Mac Amarcani have the best three-man team 
you'll ever encounter on Fortnite. And Andrew is begging for an invite. He hasn't I think won, I deserve he it. He won I've won yet. plenty of games. He, he needs a win. I've won plenty of <laughs> games. That's a, quite a nice massage as well. Peter Creeley, thank you very much. Thanks, we'll okay. see you soon.